Hey, I'm Neil, and today I want to show you why Easy Morph is more user-friendly than Excel. The issue with Excel is that you have confusing cell references and complicated functions like VLOOKUP, and it can be difficult to automate. Easy Morph, on the other hand, is a visual no-code tool that automates everything by default. To show what I mean, we're going to answer the following question. What countries have the largest share of billionaire wealth as compared to annual GDP? When we've answered the question, we're going to produce an Excel workbook as output and email that to our customer. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is bring in the billionaire data, which is in Excel format, and this comes to us from Forbes for 2023. The next thing we do is we're going to bring in the GDP data that we're getting from the IMF, and that's also for 2023. Now, in order to do the comparison, we need to we need to convert everything into dollars. So I'm going to convert the GDP amounts into dollars. It's already in a unit of million, so I just need to multiply that by a million, like so. And then the same goes for the Forbes data. I need to multiply that by a billion to get the dollar amount. So I'm just going to take that and multiply it by a billion. And now that I've got that in the same format, I'm going to derive a new table, which will be effectively like a pivot table. So we're going to aggregate by country and then sum up the net worth dollars so that we're in a position to bring in the GDP data. Now we're going to bring in the GDP data using the merge step. Now this is very similar to a VLOOKUP in um, Excel. So it automatically knows to match on the country. So we just need to tell it the field we want to bring in, which is our GDP dollar. And we're almost done. We just need to calculate the net worth as a percentage of the GDP, which we do by dividing net worth by the GDP. And I'm going to format that as a percentage. So we basically got our answer. We just need to sort in descending order to get the top 10. So I'm going to do that. And we need to assign a row number in order to get the filtering on the top 10. And finally, I'm going to filter that row number on the top 10, which is to say less than or equal to 10. OK, we are now done. Last thing to do is just export out to Excel. I'm going to call this output. And I'm going to run that action so that I can then finally email out my output to my cust at cust.com and this will be my subject and I'm going to add the output attachment and we're done.